Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is Major Arcana card of the Son of Life. And, um, you know, this is the first Major Arcana card we have up here. We still have uh, three court cards. And, uh, you know, what I liked about this card when I was meditating on it, especially after yesterday's, you know, yesterday's we had the Four Stones protection. And, uh, you know, in the background was a sunset. All right, so. You know, let's say that that fawn was looking for some place to be protected and uh you know they they sat down at sunset and they know they're protected and they know they're being watched over by the queen of bows the hare and you know the fawn wakes up the next morning and sees this brilliant sun just sitting out there right and you know the sun is the center of the universe okay that provides us with warmth and light all right and you know the the fawn's sitting there and I'm, you know, let's say we are the fawns, right? We wake up in the morning and we see that sun and we just kind of, we just kind of want to stretch ourselves out and say, yeah, all right, the sun's out. It's going to be a beautiful day. You know, and you reach your hands up to the sky and you're stretching and you just like, oh, just feels so good, you know, and, and, and that's what this guy's doing. You know, he's, he's, you know, when you stretch and you see that sun, it, it just gives you a different disposition, you know, for the, for the day. All right, and uh, you know you're a little bit you know, cheerier. You know you're po you got a positive attitude, and you know you just see things as is uh, lighting the way for you. Right? There's not going to be any negativity today. You know it's just going to be a, it's just going to be a beautiful day because the sun's out. You know I'm going to let you know be out there and just soak up the rays and just enjoy the day. You know, and when we become aware of that. When we open ourselves up to the universe, all right, and to the universal mind, when we just say, you know, hey, you know, I, I you know, do with what you what you want with me, right? It's a beautiful day out, you know. And just thank you, universe, for having the sun out there, um, you know, to to guide me today. And uh, you know, when we open ourselves up to that, and we we're at one with the universe and spirit, it just gives us a lightheartedness. All right, it just, it, it makes us feel protected that the universe has got our back, you know, and that there are others out there watching us. You know, the Page of Stones, the Knight of Bows, and the Queen of Bows are, are sitting right there. So, you know, they're doing the same thing. You know, when, if you if you ever watch, a, you know, squirrels or, um, squirrels are a lot around here, but, you know, even rabbits, you know, when the sun comes out, they come out and you know they like to they like to bask in that sunshine you know turtles do it you know they come up from their depths and they get on that log and they're just oh yeah oh yeah let's just let me sit here with this shell and just oh let the rays of sunshine just beat down upon me because it just feels so good just to dry things out you know they're at one with nature they're at one with their universe you know same thing with the squirrels you know, it doesn't make a difference where they're at. You know, they'll, they'll lay down in the middle of a road, you know, because it's nice and hot. It's hot on their belly, and then they got the heat on, on their on their back, you know. And, and most animals are like that. When they, you know, when they see the sunshine, you know, they like to, you know, sp sprawl out in that sunshine, right? And, it, you know, we are no different. You know, look how many people go to the beach on a nice day and, you know, work on their tans or get burnt. You know, we enjoy being in the sun. You know, we enjoy being in warm weather. You know, and even on even on cold days when the sun's out, you know, people just want to get outside and be in that sun. And just oh man, just let that sun just hit my face. You know, let me wear the sunglasses. You know, and what that does is it brings joyfulness and enlightenment. You know, to us. You know, and it, and that in turn cleanses us from the shadows of our lives. All right. Um, you know, we don't. Again, it gives us that positive energy. You know, we're enlightened. We don't have to worry about worry. You don't have to worry about fear. You know, we just kind of look at it and just say, oh, man, this is such so great just to be out here. I can just sit back and relax and just soak up the sun. And Might want to put some sunscreen on. You know, but we become one with the universe. We touch that. You know, we feel the sun's rays upon us. It gives us that warmth. And it takes our cares away. It takes our worries away. It takes our fears away. We don't have to worry about it. There's no there's no cloud above us. 
okay it's just nothing but sunshine and uh you know the the thing i like about this card too is, is when i see it is is that you know the nuclear energy that the sun gives us i mean we are our, we are our own solar panels and when the sun hits us man everything changes we become livelier we become more energetic all right um you know, we, we pulsate a little bit more and it's kind of, you know, we become that beacon of hope for others to see. And, you know, when you walk into a workplace or you walk into a social setting and you're beaming because of the energy from being in the sun and you're positive, people want to be around you. It's like you are the uh, you are the fire and they are the moss. You know, you're the light and they're coming at you. Right. And it's, you know, People want to be around positive stuff, they, you know, positive people. They want to be around positive situations. They want, you know, and that's where the light is, right? That's where the sun of life comes through, you know, and then what that does is that brings harmony in life, you know, to others. And it connects us with the universe and, you know, it, it makes us aware of how vast our soul really is. But, you know, think about it. Without sunlight, you know, nothing grows. You know, so, you know, the sun is, is not only there for warmth and, and uh, in light, but it's also there to help, help things grow. And this sun of life, you know, the sun of life comes to you and says, you know what, I'm here to help you grow on your spiritual path. All right. Today's a brand new day. How are you going to walk your path today? You know, you were protected last night. You know, I was there. I, wa I watched over you as I was setting. That's what the sun is saying. And the queen of bows, you know, she was sitting there and she says, how do you influence those around you? Again, you know, you're protected, but here you've got this, this positive array of light. How do you influence those around you? Do you influence them negatively or do you influence them positively? You know, just say, you know, giving people a smile. You know, hey, how you doing? You know, with a happy voice, right? Just being happy. You know, that could be, that could be how you come across, right? The seven of vessels, morning. You know, it, maybe something did die off for you. You know, you have to re refill those cups. You know, but right after that, you got the queen of bow. She's nurturing. She's caring. Okay, she's gonna be there for you to put your, you know, your head on her shoulder. And just say, you know, I, I really miss so-and-so. I really miss, you know, doing this. All right. And she's looking at you and she's, you know, she says, yes, I understand. Okay. I completely get it. Okay. With that fire action and everything. She goes, hey, you're protected. But the one thing you don't want to do is don't lose that energy. Don't lose that positive energy. Because that positive energy is what's going to help you out with that, that thought process, that ace of bows. All right, the breath of life, that new idea that's coming through. Okay, she wants you to nurture that. Okay, and then in the Knight of Bows is that fox is sitting right here and says, you know, what opportunity are you seizing in this situation? Are you seizing the opportunity to go out there and let this, you know, son of life power you? Power you through your thoughts, this new thought process? Power you past this morning? period, you know, to power you, you know, to influence those around you, to, you know, be protected. And then the page of stones, the lynx, you know, he's still out here and he's asking you, what do you learn from this situation? Where, where can you learn from this situation of saying, you know what, you know, when I'm, when I'm in a right frame of mind and I'm positive and I have a positive outlook on stuff, everything's sunny. When I'm, when I'm in a bad mood and negative, that sun's not shining. So that's what I can learn from this. I can learn that I can turn off the sun or I can turn on the sun. It all depends. You know, you have that choice. But this is a major arcana. It's a life lesson for you to learn. All right. And then, and then the stone asks, also asking, you know, what data do you need to make a good decision? To me, that data is pretty easy. If I'm happy and go lucky and I got a positive attitude, that's the sun of life. Yeah, you know, that's a, that's an easy decision to make, right? The fox is, you know, what details are you you ignoring? 
Well, the one thing I'm not going to ignore is, you know, the radiance that I give off or the radiance that I have through the sun of life allows everything else to grow. And just, just as the sun of life allows everything to grow, so do I. If I'm negative, nothing's growing around me. But if I'm positive, everything's growing around me. Right? Any idea or thought process that comes comes out. Even though things are down, you know, I'm looking at the positive thing, you know, positive aspects of that. I'm looking to fill these cups up. I'm not looking to keep them empty in that seven of vessels. What straightforward, you know, um, where do you need to, to be more understanding? You know, with that queen of bows. And it could just be, you know what? I need to be more understanding of how my, my feelings affect others or how my energy affects others. When I'm radiant, they're radiant. When I'm not radiant, they're not radiant. I need to keep that flow of energy going. Let them know that they're all protected, just like I'm protected as that sun's going down. And it's amazing how the sun goes down and everybody goes in. When the sun comes up, every come, everybody comes out. Doesn't make a difference where you are in the world. Nighttime, when the sun goes down, people are going inside. Be protected, to be sheltered, to be safe. And then in the morning, when the sun's up, guess what? Everybody's coming out. Even if you can't see the sun above the clouds, right? There's still that opportunity of being out in the daylight. You feel safer in the daylight. You know, and if you take on that aspect of that nuclear energy, that radiance that the sun of life has given you, and you pass that on to everybody else, everybody else is going to be positive. You're going to be positive. They're going to be positive. You're going to have a positive work day. You know, sure, there may be obstacles and, and trials and tribulations along the path, but, you know, you tackle them. You get past them. And you just say, you know what? It ain't going to get to me. I'm going to live life to the fullest, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to promote being in that sun. I want to promote a great attitude. So there you have it. That's the card of the day, the sun of life. Hit that like button for me, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel. This is D for Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.